how you all doing? I hope you're all doing fine. I am fine too, I thank God. Yes, today I sound better than last time because I had a very strong flu <laughs> in my last video. Yeah, if you watched it. So guys, thank you so much for returning back here. If you are a returning subscriber, God bless you. Guys, I don't know how to thank you because the love and the support you have been showing me is a lot i see each and everyone's comment on the comment section and i know you have noticed that i take so slow to respond to your comments but i see them and i really appreciate just bear with me your girl has got a lot on her table but we are here together if i see a comment it's something that i need to respond right away it's an emergency to help a girl out there of course i respond on time so keep bearing with me keep supporting me guys yeah but if it's your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please please before you leave remember to subscribe and you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you always enjoy every content that i upload on this channel so dear friends in our today's video we are going to be having a story time <laughs> today's love story is a sweet online dating success love story of a tanzanian lady by the name of sekela who found love on online dating apps with a german guy by the name of thomas guys i'm very very excited you know she's my home girl <laughs> And guys, I know some of you, when you see last time we had a Tanzanian ladies love story, today we have another Tanzanian ladies love story. You start being like, Bella, why only Tanzania? <laughs> guys, if you follow me on my Instagram at African Bella, you have been seeing my stories. Ladies from different countries finding love. So it is the matter of time, guys. The stories are coming of ladies from different countries because when it comes to online dating, anyone can find love. It doesn't matter where you are coming from, okay? I told you even if you live deep, deep in the village or up there in the mountains, you can still find love on online dating apps, especially you guys that are interested in dating a white guy. So guys, Sekela found love on online dating apps within one month of joining that dating site. And like I told you guys, her love story is such a sweet love story. You know, those stories that you watch, you listen to, and you'll be like, wow, love is beautiful. But not only that, guys, every love story is different. And we have got a lot to learn from every love story. So in today's love story, you are going to learn a lot, especially if you are a single lady out there searching for love on online dating apps. And like you know, guys, you who always watch my videos, we always start with the past love relationship experience of a lady who is sharing with us her love story. So we are going to be starting with Sekela's past love relationship experience to get to know was Sekela in a relationship with a Tanzanian guy and if yes, what happened? What pushed Sekela to join online dating apps? And also, how did she come to know about online dating apps? It is very, very important for us who are still finding love on online dating apps to know where Sekela started from because that's when you get to relate because you are still searching, okay? So if Sekela went through this kind of a situation and right now we are hearing a very beautiful online dating success love story, then who am I not to find love on online dating apps? So guys, was Sekela in a love relationship with a Tanzanian guy? Sekela tells us, yes, she was in a love relationship with a Tanzanian guy 
everything was really good when that relationship started like how it is always <laughs> when you start a love relationship with a guy at first everything is rosy yeah so even Sekela and that Tanzanian guy it was too rosy but as the relationship kept on growing Sekela was hopelessly in love with that guy tells us she really loved him very very much to an extent the guy started taking advantage of that i don't know what is wrong with men because if a lady truly loves you she is hopelessly in love with you you should treat her good you should count yourself happy you know and thank god to find such kind of a woman but no sekela's boyfriend at that time took it the bad way took advantage of that and started treating Sekela very, very bad. In Swahili, there is this say, <laughs> alipigwa matukio, like a guy cheating on you countless times, a guy lying to you, every time lies, lies, lies. And Sekela tells us she can remember one incident, called the boyfriend one evening, and when she called, a lady picked the call. When that lady picked the call, the next day, called the guy again, you know, the boyfriend, to ask him about that. Like, why did you give your phone to a lady to talk to me? Do you know what he responded? <laughs> I know right now you're going to be laughing a lot. And those who don't like to laugh, you're going to be so angry <laughs> about it. But now we should laugh at it, guys. It is the past. Yeah. So the boyfriend told her that... It was just a magic voice. <laughs> I put a magic voice on my phone to test you. It wasn't a woman. But Sekila tells us a voice of a woman is a voice of a real woman. And a magic voice, you know, <laughs> it's easy to differentiate. But like I told you in the past, when I did a video about East African men, I talked of Tanzanian guys, not all, but most Tanzanian guys can lie. Oh my God. A guy can date even five ladies and each lady tells her you are the one. I am going to get married to you. Yes, guys, in most cases, it's like that. So also Sekela went through that. It was really a lot and things reached here. <laughs> she was like, no, I am done, 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 done. No more dating Tanzanian guys. Right now, I want to try a different race. <laughs> White guys. And this takes us. So most of the comments I've been seeing on the comment section, <laughs> some people come and be like, black women, you worship white guys. Why can't you date black guys? Exist good black guys too. It's true, exist good black guys too. But before you write such kind of a comment, get to listen to a person's story from the start what really pushed her because what i'm telling you according to my own experience the ladies that i am guiding on online dating apps it's not that they never dated any black guy or they dated only one black guy and then they're like i'm done 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 i'm going to date white guys because white guys are good white guys this no People have been struggling. The struggle is real. You find a lady has really tried. Like you date this guy, you think everything is going to be fine. He's going to marry you. Before you know it, he has impregnated another woman. You'll be like, okay, that one was just a player. You try again, you know, you date another black guy thinking all will be good, but... Before you know it, a guy goes behind your back and you get to hear that he is getting married to another woman. You say, no, I'm going to keep on trying. So you keep on trying same, same things. You date another one, then he comes to date your best friend or you hear that he is marrying your cousin. When all that happens as a woman, you tell yourself, I don't know whom to trust anymore because I trusted guy one, 
till guy 10, same, same things. Right now, let me close the chapter with black guys and try white guys. See what will happen. But it is not all about the color or worshipping anyone. You, my fellow black women that have been through a lot with black guys, you can confirm what I am saying now. <laughs> but also, I have been here. To guide you guys that are searching for white guys on online dating apps that wants to try a different race that yes you are trying a different race but expect one two three four don't just go thinking that i've been through tough relationships with black men i'm going to date a white guy because all white guys are good they are honest no i'm here to tell you the reality of things when it comes to dating white guys and guide you through the right way so that you can fall into the hands of the right white guy if you are searching for a white guy on online dating apps. So let us continue with Sekela's love story. So yes guys, Sekela closed the chapter with black guys and decided just to be single. But at that same same time, tells us that she has a cousin who got married to a guy from Switzerland, a Swiss guy. And that guy is the best, you know, <laughs> has been treating the cousin very, very well. The cousin has been, you know, eating life, enjoying life. <laughs> so at that time, when that cousin's sister got married to that Swiss guy, people close to her used to talk bad about her marrying a white guy, saying that white guys likes the back door so they were like why should one get married to a white guy white guys are really bad they always go for the back door <laughs> and guys in african traditional world a lady giving the back door oh my god it is an abomination unheard of when we go to that traditional African world. So that's why they were talking bad about Sekela's cousin sister to get married to a white guy. But Sekela's cousin sister always used to defend the husband, be like, no, not all white guys likes the back door. My husband doesn't go for the back door. But people could not understand her. They kept on talking bad about her. But Sekela's cousin sister never listened to them, continued with her life. So Sekela tells us, seeing her cousin sister being married to a white guy, she inspired her without even knowing. And that's when Sekela was like, yeah, even me, I want a white guy. But where am I going to find a white guy? Because her cousin sister did not find that white guy on a dating app. No. It was one of those lucky occasions. <laughs> yeah, the cousin sister met that Swiss guy at Mliman City Mall. Just at the mall, guys. So Sekela didn't know anything about dating apps. So Sekela was there wondering, where am I going to find a white guy? I'm just an introvert. I don't like to go out, you know, <laughs> where I could have met my white husband you know i stay indoors all the time and she was there then you know there is social media guys facebook instagram you know youtube so one day she was on instagram then started seeing some interracial couples people saying that they are doing connections <laughs> so when she went to ask they told her you have to pay a hundred dollars she was like no, I don't trust these things of connections. <laughs> so she kept on, you know, being on social media. And then one day on Instagram came across a video of an African lady who lives in America, married to an American guy. And that lady was sharing online dating apps whereby ladies interested in dating white guys should join and then find love. So when Sekela saw that video, had to note down 
all the dating apps that lady was sharing so she tells us noted down afro introductions okay cupid and tinder so after joining those dating apps she had to set her profile very very good pictures decent ones and had to write her bio very very well so that when a serious guy comes across her profile will understand that Sekela is a serious woman looking for a serious relationship and was like yes i am so determined and i am sure i will find my husband online dating apps my white husband so that i can be like my cousin sister who is living her best life right now she has got two kids and everything is fine living her happily ever after so when she joined started chatting with different guys all around the world like we know if you have been on online dating apps <laughs> and got lots of messages guys though yes her profile was very very perfect designed to attract serious guys but yes still and serious guys wrote to her tells us she could exchange whatsapp numbers with a guy and after exchanging whatsapp number the guy sends photos when she opens the photos they are nude photos or chats with a guy after a few messages the guy is asking her for nude pictures so she tells us it was really a lot after one month of being on online dating apps almost gave up <laughs> she was like mm, no 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 i think it's a lot and i totally understand her i also understand you guys you who are watching me after setting your profile everything is good you have high expectations maybe you watched a success story on bella's channel you know you got encouraged you're like let me join online dating apps after joining you know your spirit is high <laughs> you are happy excited but what you come across you'll be like is this how things are <laughs> i think i can't deal with these things because in your life you have never experienced such things <laughs> seeing someone naked or seeing a video of a guy you know <laughs> touching his eggplant it's strange and also frustrating disgusting so you'll be like i think this is not my world <laughs> I belong somewhere else, not here, but your sister has been here telling you guys don't give up just because of the losers. <laughs> a guy who is sending you nude pictures, a guy who is touching his eggplant when he talks to you on a video call, he's just a loser. Don't make him ruin your life don't make him make you end halfway to achieve your dreams your dreams of getting married to a white guy so sekela was kind frustrated and almost giving up but on the day she was like today is the end i'm not going to come back here tomorrow on the dating site received a message a very long message but she did not understand the language in that message was like is this italian <laughs> what kind of language is this i'm so tired of these players they keep on writing to me so look at this now sending me a message in a language that i don't understand and he thinks i am going to waste my time <laughs> to go and translate the message i'm not gonna do that so she left the message as it is and logged out kept on doing what she was doing at that time but something kept on telling her what will it cost you <laughs> to translate that message to understand the content of that message <laughs> she was like no it's not gonna cost me anything talking to herself guys so she decided to go back to that dating site and decided to go translate the message so when i tell you try everything that is one of the ways 
of trying everything <laughs> yeah a guy sends you a message in a language that you don't understand of course try everything go and translate that message to understand what he is talking about last time i shared howard's story and we can see how and rustam communicated from the start till the end using google translator till they met and got worried <laughs> Yeah, so language should never ever be a barrier for you to give a guy a chance on online dating apps. So even with Sekela's story, we are learning that. So Sekela went to Google, translated the message, told us the guy was telling her everything about his life, <laughs> where he lives, what he does for a living, what he's looking for in a relationship, his past and at the end of the message, he wrote his phone number. Was like, please, if you're interested, let's communicate on WhatsApp. So what Sekela decided to do was like, okay, I am going to give it a try. Communicate with this guy on WhatsApp. In most cases, I've seen you guys coming to me to ask, Bella, a guy just dropped his WhatsApp number. What can I do? The advice I gave you, and I'm repeating it again, is that when a guy comes without even describing himself, without telling you what he's looking for, without even giving you a compliment, you know, you put lots of efforts in making your photos, you know, appear good. And of course, you are such a beautiful woman, so he should compliment you. Because even this German guy, because he was a German guy, <laughs> complimented her he described himself but also complimented her i really really like your profile what you wrote in there and it tells that you are a serious woman i really like your decent photos but you're also a very beautiful woman complimented her and at the end, he dropped his number. But a guy comes, no compliments, nothing. This is my WhatsApp number. Let us communicate. A guy like that, if it is me, Bella, on online dating app searching, I am not going to communicate to him. Will I block him? No, I'm not going to block him. But I'm going to ask that guy, describe yourself. I would like to get to know you first, at least know what you're searching for. And then, of course, we will move to WhatsApp to get to see what will be his response. Recently, I was helping a lady on online dating apps. I came across a guy. That guy was French. He was chatting in French. Yes, I was translating the messages to get to understand what he is telling me, of course, on behalf of my client. <laughs> But looking at the guy's profile, he didn't have a photo. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to keep on chatting with you. I need to see your photo. Why don't you have a photo? Guys, you can't believe it. Immediately he went and uploaded his photos. Was like, okay, now you see my photos. Can we please keep on chatting? I was like, yes, this is the kind of a guy who is determined. He knows what he wants. Because it's not a big deal. Why shouldn't you put your photos? <laughs> yeah, so don't block him. Challenge him, you know. Why should you drop your number? Let's get to know each other. If he responds the bad way, then that's when the block follows. But if a guy comes, gives you compliments, you know, describes himself, then drops his WhatsApp numbers, of course, give that guy a chance, you know, to get to know him. If he misbehaves on WhatsApp, block <laughs> and move forward. So yes, Sekela wrote to that German guy, his name is Thomas on WhatsApp, and then he responded. After responding, what followed? let us delete <laughs> our profiles on the dating site that we met on then sekela in her mind was like but this is too fast anyways i am going to switch off <laughs> my profile but if things don't work of course I will come back because I still have my email and everything, you know, to go back to that dating site. So I've been seeing some of you guys, you just behave like 
<laughs> if you switch off your profile, then it's the end of the world. Dating apps don't exist anymore. You make it a big deal. <laughs> Please give him the benefit of the doubt. Switch off your profile. See how it goes. Give it time. Get to know him so that you don't distract yourself with other guys on online dating apps or sites. And another thing is some sites, when you switch off your account or your profile, it's not that it is deleted completely. <laughs> Even if you want to come back, things do not work out after a week, you want to come back, you can always switch it on and everything will be normal like you never left. So if you didn't know about that, now you know but try everything guys <laughs> while your eyes are wide open and to make things clear for you thomas was paying on that dating site but sekela wasn't paying at all never paid for any dating app or site so after switching off their profiles thomas sent her his photos and asked her to send him her photos. She sent him her photos and he was like, wow, you're such a beautiful woman. So they continued chatting, you know, getting to know each other, told him he has got two kids, a girl and a boy. They are only two in his family, his elder sister and him and his parents are still alive. So they kept on chatting, you know, getting to know each other for something like an hour. And another thing is that Sekela is an orphan, but has got her elder sisters. So as they kept on chatting, her airtime was ending for that day, the MBs. If you are in Tanzania, Kenya, in Africa in general, you will understand when I talk about airtime, buying bundles, yeah. So the MB for that day were over and told Thomas, you know what? My airtime for today is about to finish. So I want to say, have a good day. We are going to catch up tomorrow. But Thomas told her, please send me your phone number. I am going to send you money for the airtime. Guys, within one hour <laughs> of communicating, Sekela sent him her number. And yes, guys, he sent her a hundred euros <laughs> to buy airtime. Sekela was like, what? So these things are real. <laughs> She was so happy about airtime, they kept on communicating and the next day continued to communicate. Then Thomas asked Sekela, please I want you to share your location and I will share my location with you so that we can be seeing each other's movement. So to you, my dear beautiful ladies, <laughs> drama queens, <laughs> if something like that happens, you run to Bella. Bella, no. Do you think this is okay? Don't you think it's a red flag? A guy wanting to control my movements? <laughs> I told you guys, when you are in a long distance relationship, trust is very, very important. So when you start doing things, that will give doubts to that guy, of course, it won't work at all at all. But if you know that you don't have any skeletons in your wardrobe, you have got nothing to hide from that guy, why shouldn't you share with him your location? Because you are searching for love. You need to trust him and he needs to trust you. So this guy told her, I'm sending you my location. Send me your location. There is no problem, guys. When you come across such kind of a situation, please, please don't start blocking this guy. Don't start saying, no, you want to control me. We just got to know each other. No, no, guys. I remember I did a short video and I was telling you guys, if you are in a long distance relationship and you have got male friends, because I know exist ladies that have got lots of male friends and few female friends. So introduce those male friends to your long distance boyfriend. And also make sure he introduces you to his female friends if he has got female friends. That way you get to trust each other. The relationship is between the two of you. So you should have a voice 
he should have a voice in a relationship. Never forget that. Please, please, dear beautiful ladies. So yes, guys, they shared each other's locations and kept on communicating. Then Thomas asked her, what do you do for a living? Then Sekela was very, very honest with him. I just finished the university. I am just at home. I don't have any job. Then Thomas was like, you know what? For me, I like a responsible woman. So are you searching for jobs? Then Sekela said, yes, I am searching for jobs. So Thomas asked her, with the level of your education in your country, if you find a job, how much are you going to be paid your salary? And then Sekela told him the salary she is expecting, you know, due to how things are in Tanzania. Then he was like, okay, no problem. So guys, Sekela and Thomas met on a dating site 1st of December 2022. And Sekela tells us within two weeks and a half, Thomas was like, I want to come to meet you. So when Sekela heard that, was really scared. Started telling herself, hmm, this guy might be one of those white guys who will come to Africa and then pretend to love you, then take your goodies and disappear when they go back to their countries. <laughs> <laughs> but was like, okay. So they kept on communicating and tells us every single week, Thomas could send her money. Whenever she could go for shopping, he could be like, take a video. I want to see around. So she could take a video and he could be like, so show me what you like. So she could show him. I like this. I like this. And the guy could tell her, take, 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 take. <laughs> Almost the whole shop. <laughs> and after that, he could send her the money. Oh my God. She was really, really happy. You know, when you are in love and you are there in cloud nine. <laughs> That's how Sekela was feeling at that time. Being spoiled. <laughs> by Thomas. So guys, they kept on communicating and Sekela tells us after one month, Thomas told her, I have booked for a flight ticket. I have a visa already. I am coming to meet you. Oh my God. She didn't believe it and was like, wow, this is really too fast, but said, okay, no problem. I will be waiting for you. So guys, Sekela tells us 12th of January, 2023, Thomas went to Tanzania for that first time. He landed at the airport and Sekela was there waiting for him. But Sekela in her mind was like, mm, I don't know how he's going to be looking like because he is 49 years old and I am 28. But coming out when she saw him, oh my God, he was looking even younger than his age was like here, you know, in Tanzania, when a guy is 49 or 50, 50 something, oh my God, they look totally different. They look old, but looking at Thomas, oh my God, he looked really, really good. And he was so loving, you know, had to run, hug him so tightly. Thomas was happy too. Oh my God, it was such a magical moment for them. So to take you a little bit back, I know you're asking yourself, Bella, I think you forgot something. <laughs> Did Thomas introduce Sekela to his family? We have not heard anything about introduction. <laughs> so yes, guys, after a few weeks of Thomas communicating with Sekela, he introduced to his parents, his sister, and to his kids. And Sekela tells us they love her very, very much. She communicates to her mother-in-law, communicates to his daughter. They are crazily in love with her and she really, really loves them. For her, she feels very lucky and blessed to find herself in such a beautiful, loving family. Because Thomas's family itself, it's a family 
full of love. They love each other. And that's why it has been so easy for Sekela to connect with his family. So guys, introduction is very, very important. If a guy is really serious with you, he's going to introduce you to his loved ones. No excuses. So yes, let's go back to when he arrived. So after arriving at the airport, yes, hugging, they're all happy to see each other, very excited. They had to go to the hotel where Thomas had booked. And Thomas got 90 days visa to stay in Tanzania. So they headed to the hotel and I know some of you goodies lovers. <laughs> <laughs> you are waiting when you hear the hotel you'll be like okay Bella you sit well <laughs> to listen to what I'm going to say about the goodies so after arriving at the hotel guys he had brought lots of gifts for her she was so happy you know with everything that was happening at that time and time was moving really fast you know when you are enjoying your moment time passes really fast <laughs> that's how you see it yeah and that's how Sekela saw it for that night guys no no goodies were shared and Sekela was really surprised because <laughs> she thought you know what guys guys are into say so she was like this one <laughs> <laughs> we want the goodies same same night but no thomas told her sekela i love you the way you are it's not all about sex not at all so take your time i'm not going to pressure you at all but another thing i'm not going to ask for goodies until we test you know our health after that then yes <laughs> we can have them the goodies so they only kissed hugged you know cuddling and that's all they were really enjoying each other's company stayed in a hotel for one week and towards the end of one week that's when they went to test and they took long to go for a test because Sekela tells us you know in the past i've been there running with rashidi juma <laughs> So I was really scared to take the test. That's why it took long. But Thomas told her, take your time, but we must check our health. <laughs> and I know some of you can relate, you know, having lots of relationships. Not that you wanted to have lots of relationships, but due to what I talked about when I started this video, you keep trying and trying and trying. Before you know it, you have 20 ex-boyfriends. <laughs> One time I told you, some of us, a minibus can get full. <laughs> <laughs> and some of you are like, Bella, what is a mean bus? A whole coaster. <laughs> a big bus becomes full when we put all your excess in that bus. <laughs> so Sekela was really scared, but in the end was like, okay, I have to make this test. We have to check our health <laughs> so that we can all be at peace and also get to enjoy the goodies yeah <laughs> so yes he googled for the hospital <laughs> never wanted sekela to be the one to choose the hospital i don't know sekela tells us maybe he thought she was going to choose the hospital and maybe bribe then the results comes out differently <laughs> than the reality so he chose the hospital himself and yes they went to that hospital they did the test about their health and they all came out negative they were really really happy about that and yes moved from the hotel and rented an apartment because remember he had 90 days in tanzania so yes the tests are okay now time for the goodies <laughs> Yeah, Sekela tells us the goodies really went super good. She really enjoyed it because it was loving, was listening to her compared to her past relationships, you know. 
<laughs> in Swahili, you people who understand Swahili, <laughs> she was like, you know what, Bella, enjoying the goodies with a guy and then wanaume anakukamia. <laughs> like he makes loves to you in an extreme way. And Fusekela thought that it's going to be extreme because he is a white guy. <laughs> If you have seen those movies of white guys, yeah, <laughs> what they show, like they're so extreme and all that. So, so she expected that, but it wasn't the case. Everything was fine. You know, listening to each other, having fun, you know, and enjoy. <laughs> enjoy, mentor. <laughs> no need to be like you're fighting a war, just like Juma and Rashidi of her past. <laughs> <laughs> the way they could, you know, take the goodies in a very, you know, bad, bad way. So she was like, Bella, I can't lie. I really enjoy. Yeah, I think I should leave it like that. <laughs> Let's not go into details. <laughs> Everything kept on going super good, you know, in its right place. <laughs> Yeah, when you find the right guy, everything goes super smooth. You don't need to try a lot of false things or stress up. <laughs> yeah. So Thomas asked to see her family, you know, her sisters, because she is an orphan. May your parents keep resting in peace. Amen. So, so yes. yes, they went to see her sisters. Her sisters welcomed him very, very well. They were so happy for her and also liked Thomas so much. Another thing that Sekela tells us is that Thomas is so caring. He cares so much about her and even her sisters. If Sekela needs something and the sisters want something, he will first listen to the sisters, provide for them, and then Sekela tells us he's such a wonderful guy. So he had planned to stay in Tanzania 90 days, but it couldn't happen because unfortunately lost his grandmother. So had to travel back to Germany before time. He stayed in Tanzania for only two months but she really really enjoyed so much so yes guys he returned to germany but they kept on communicating and then thomas told her you remember i asked you about your salary if you are to be paid so i want to employ you <laughs> i'm going to be paying you your salary every single month and your job now is eat sleep Take care of yourself. Take care of the home. Oh my God. <laughs> Bella is very, very lucky to come across an amazing guy, a caring guy like Thomas. So she says, me, 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 good Jew. <laughs> yeah. And from that time, he started paying her every single month. First of the month, he pays her without even her asking plus he gives her money for her upkeep salary is the salary and the upkeep is something else so thomas has been taking fully responsibility of this lady when we hear of prince charming thomas we can call him a prince charming who comes to rescue you from your hard situation you know and you live happily ever after yeah so yes guys everything was going super super good they were crazily in love with each other and then thomas told her if i am to come back i'm going to come back in july and that's a lot of time for me. I can't stay away from you. So what we are going to do, I want to invite you to Germany. And yes, guys, they started the visa process, sent her all the documents, you know, everything needed for her to be granted the visa. Tells us she didn't have even a passport, had to apply for the passport. When she got the passport, applied for her visa to go to Germany, but unfortunately guys was denied that visa tells us when they denied her the visa 
cried so so much was really frustrated and called thomas when she called thomas thomas was really surprised like i sent you everything why deny you the visa but told her do not cry don't worry we just need to trust each other keep communicating more keep getting to know each other everything will be fine concerning the visa i told you if a guy truly truly loves you no matter the challenges you're going to be facing when it comes to your visa application he will stick to you your love is going to even grow stronger and he will do anything to be with you he will not abandon you at all like how we have been seeing guys abandoning ladies just with only one visa denial so here we can differentiate a guy who loves you and a guy who is just there to play games with you but also told her to ask around if she knows anyone that can tell her what could have been a reason to why she got denied that visa because both didn't have any experience when it comes to visa application and that's when Sekela came to me so when she came to me for me if i remember very very well but i'll go back to our messages when she contacted me to know the exact time but i can remember i was on my vacation yeah <laughs> when i talked to her so i explained to her what were the reasons for her to be denied the visa she was so so down but after talking to her she got encouraged and i told her also the solution how to go about it so that she can be granted the visa according to her situation but also something else we talked about she was kind worried and i've seen this a lot in most ladies that are on online dating apps and maybe you who is watching this video now you are in this situation so Sekela was so much in love with Thomas but she had that voice you know <laughs> telling her oh what will people say about you if you get married to this guy he's more older than you so she was there kind in a confusion or scared of the judgment what people will say about her and that's when your sister came in what i wanted to know first is if sekela is crazily in love with thomas she told me yes bella i love him does he has everything you ever dreamt to have in a guy she was like yes bella <laughs> then i told her girl those people are not the one to get married to thomas you are the only one who is going to get married to thomas not your sisters not your cousins not your neighbors not your close friends <laughs> if you and sekela you are attracted to thomas you love him very very much he has been such a good guy to you he has everything that you ever dreamed to have in a guy even the more you know <laughs> that you ever dreamt of why should you worry about neighbors why should you worry about maybe closed friends no need girl go ahead with your relationship okay she was so happy I was like oh my god bella i'm so happy to talk to you <laughs> i feel a great relief after talking to you you're such a kind lady <laughs> yeah i told her you're welcome and when you start again your visa process please come back to me i am going to assist you and she was like definitely bella i will so guys if you are in sekela's situation at that time having some doubts of how people are going to judge you you know because <laughs> this really can affect your relationship yeah because you focus more on what other people are going to say about you dating a guy who is older than you than concentrating on you and the guy you are dating so we have two cases here i know exists ladies i've come across ladies of this type whereby they are like bella me dating a guy in his 50s and i am maybe in my 30s that's a big no i am not attracted to older guys if that's the case 
I respect your decision. I respect your choice and I support you, okay? Because you have to go for what you want. If you are not attracted, you are sure you will never be attracted to an older guy. Stick to that and that's a different case. But if you are a woman, maybe in your 30s, and you consider, yes, if a guy in his 50s comes, I can give him a chance, then don't worry if he's going to talk that you are married to an older guy. Because I can give you an example. I think I have given you this example. For those of you who have been watching me, when I was getting married to my husband, you guys who knows my husband, he's older than me. Not all that much, but yes, he's older than me. We're not age mates. <laughs> he's going to kill me when he watches this. <laughs> Because when we talk and sometimes I'm like, mm, you're getting old. <laughs> you're not joking. Then he's like, mm. <laughs> like he's sad. <laughs> well, that's the truth. <laughs> so we are not age mates at all. <laughs> so when I was getting married to him, I remember there is a lady, you know, I was chatting to is a friend, not that close friend. <laughs> was dating a younger white guy this lady was like oh your fiance is old but after some few years later oh my god that young white guy the things he did to her they were really really bad he turned out to be her worst nightmare yeah and as i'm talking right now <laughs> She got married to a white guy that is even older than my husband. I'm so happy for her, honestly. And I'm telling you all this. If you are a lady who is scared about what other people are going to say, don't listen to them. Stick to what you want. If he has everything you ever wanted in a guy and you are attracted to him physically, go for him, sis, go for him. I support you. So after the visa denial, they kept on talking and mostly she tells us they could do video calls. Yeah, see each other, kept on growing their relationship. That July, 2023, that he was supposed to go back to Tanzania did not get time but the relationship continued and he had time January 2024 that's when he was like I am going to come in January 2024 to see you and they had found out the solutions on what to do you know concerning their relationship concerning them being together start living together you know live there happily ever after so from february 2023 he came back on 31st january 2024 she prepared herself went to the airport and started waiting for him because he was landing at 3 a.m in the morning tanzanian time so she waited and waited it was really cold you know it is in the morning and yeah he came out with his bags but when he came out he saw him talking to another white guy and she was like oh my god he should hurry up it's so cold here i want to get out of here and he's taking time <laughs> yeah so after talking to that white guy gave him his phone and then came with his bags towards Sekela. so as Sekela was going to hug him saw him on his knee saying baby will you marry me oh <laughs> she was so happy <laughs> couldn't believe it it was a surprise they had talked about her ring size but she didn't know it was going to happen right at the airport <laughs> yeah she jumped hugged him and said yes yes baby he engaged her also guys at the airport Sekela came to find out that Thomas has got a tattoo on his arm whereby it is written the, the date when they met on that dating site, which is 1st December 2022, her name, Sekela, and his name, Thomas, with love. Oh my 
my god <laughs> it was really wowed and had that satisfying moment you know you got that surprise engagement at the airport and then you see that meaningful tattoo on his arm wow with your name on it <laughs> it feels good and for me the next day i posted the photo <laughs> of her ring on my instagram if you follow me and all of you are like oh my god her ring is so beautiful congratulations yes that's sekela guys <laughs> <laughs> congratulations girl <laughs> we are all happy for you so yes and this time his visa is for one month to stay in tanzania so yes guys after the airport proposal they headed to the hotel had a very romantic dinner sekela was so happy thomas was really really happy that she accepted to get married to him love was in the air at that time <laughs> Another thing that Sekela tells us or tells you who is watching this video is that according to her own experience, dating Tanzanian guys and now dating Thomas, a German guy, tells us white guys are so caring. When she does like, <coughs> he's like, my love, let's go to the hospital. <laughs> And one of the worst things that Thomas doesn't want to see or hates to see is to see her crying. You know, being treated like an egg, you know, <laughs> that kind of a situation. He really cares for her so much, listens to her when she tells him, you know, honey, I'm tired. He understands, you know, <laughs> yeah, that kind of thing. If she compares with black Tanzanian guys that she dated, tells us oh my god her ex was ngumijiwe <laughs> yeah couldn't care you know you're sick or whatever and also took advantage he could treat her the way he wants like i told you when i was telling you her past love relationship experience so tells us her experience dating a white guy is Mwah. and she says she's not going nowhere <laughs> Hamnitoi, hamningoi, ni mefika in Swahili. I'm not going anywhere. I've reached my destination. Wow, <laughs> I love this. <laughs> and she adds that it's not all about the money, but how he cares, how he loves her. And guys, that's what matters. <laughs> when it comes to a relationship, you feeling at peace, you feeling protected, you feeling loved. Oh my goodness, what can you ask for? What? From God. <laughs> So to the next plan, guys, right now, as I'm making this video, Thomas is still in Tanzania and they are doing the process for him to marry her. So they will first go to Mbea because she is a Nyakusa. Tells us he's going to be seeing her Nyakusa aunties. <laughs> <laughs> and uncles do the introduction and after the introduction then get married after getting married then applies for her visa to go reunite with her husband and also guys i am still guiding her through so guys when their wedding happens i am going to be sharing their wedding photos with you if it is not here on the community tab I'm going to be sharing my Instagram stories. Sekela and Thomas, congratulations, you know, to find love. I wish you all the best in your preparations to get married. I wish you all the best in your life. Please let us wish them all the best. So guys, to the big question, the dating app where Sekela met thomas <laughs> they met on a dating site called afro introductions guys i know you have been having a very tough experience on afro introductions it's the best <laughs> among of the best dating sites with lots of success stories afro introductions is the best Yes, I've had lots of success stories from Afro introductions. But for me, what I think is the big problem, you don't want to be patient. I told you, you have got nothing to lose. You are on that dating app. 
you're not paying you're using it for free leave it there like that okay when you feel you're energized go in chat with guys send messages you feel like your energy is down down you want to take a break take a break but leave it there keep on trying please please dear sisters so you can give afro introductions the second chance keep praying that guy is coming believe that and trust in god also sekela tells us with this marriage thing thomas told her for me i am ready to get married to you but you too you need to be ready to get married to me if you're not ready i cannot pressure you i can't force you i'll give you time to decide sekela was like no i am ready to get married because i love you and i told you if a guy truly loves you won't want you to do things that makes you uncomfortable he will not pressure you let's get married you know fast fast no <laughs> he will give you time yeah just like how thomas did it so guys can we end the love story without any advice from a lady who found love no i can't leave you like that <laughs> So, Sekela gave you some advice you guys that are searching for love on online dating apps, but it was in Swahili. So, I am going to first translate her advice and then I will put the Swahili voice notes for you guys that understand Swahili to get to enjoy it the more when you listen it to your own language Swahili. Yeah. So, her advice to every woman that dreams to have an interracial relationship tells you go to the dating apps there is potential you will find love there we can also see she had that dream of getting married to a white guy but didn't know how when she found out about dating apps she joined and then found love her second advice work on your profiles i think this has been a song here on my channel and i see those who have worked on your profiles you can be like bella i've worked on everything but nothing is coming out keep trusting in god keep being patient we also see all we have heard sekela telling us her profile was had decent pictures, everything was in order the way it is supposed to be, but faced lots of challenges, scammers contacted her, players contacted her, she almost gave up. So why I keep on telling you there is an importance of working on your profile because if your profile is good and then comes a serious guy, he reads it, he goes through your photos, he will know you are serious and he's going to take you seriously like we see thomas thomas came across sekela's profile liked what she wrote because she even included the disclaimer that if you're not serious do not contact me and thomas really liked that her photos were no more photos. She tells us decent ones. Tells us or tells you, you who take photos like this in Swahili, Mejibinua. <laughs> or you take photos in very, very provocative outfits. That's a problem because you're going to come across guys who are looking for hookups who only wants to play games on you and maybe come to Africa or wherever part of the world you are to only take your goodies. So please, please work on your profiles. Her third advice, be honest and open. It is very, very important. Guys, if you are on online dating apps, I told you, you don't need to have skeletons in your wardrobe. Yeah, if you're dating a guy in real life and you haven't ended things very, very well, please, please don't keep one leg in one shoes and another leg out of the shoe. Then come to the dating apps when your mind is concentrated to find love. You don't have lots of distractions. Always tell the truth, especially if you come across a guy who is serious, who is honest with you, genuine with you. So to my Swahili speakers, here are her voice notes. <laughs> yeah. Chamuishwa labani sime kwamba mimi, 
nimekuwa ni mtu ambaye ninawashauri sana na marafiki zangu wengi wana ndoto ya kuwa na mahusiano na watu wa hivyo wazungu siachi kuwashawishi kuingia dating site dating site inafanya kazi lakini jinsi utakavyojielezea kwenye dating site profile yako picha zako muonekano wako muonekano wako kuna mwingine anaweka dating site picha za kubinuka au kufanyaje lazima atapata watu na wenyewe ambao wanataka ile short time sio naita hook up sababu unaona tu huyu mwenyewe anaonekana tu ni amekaa na nili mimi picha zangu nilieka za kawaida sana na profile yangu ilijielezea sana kwa mimi na shauri tu watu ambao wanaingia dating site wa wawe tu makini na waweze kujieleza vizuri na wawe wa kweli ukweli wako ndio kitu cha msingi kwa sababu wenzetu kidogo naona wanapenda sana mtu ambaye mwazi na mkweli si nichoke kabisa nitakuomba uendelee kuni comfort na nikupe maua yako ni dada ambaye haujisikii unajua kuna wengine wameolewa na wazungu na naona maisha sisi wengine tunatuna kama sijui nini mtu namwandikia message ania nakujibu kama sijui nini lakini wewe ni mtu ambaye uko very friendly yani hauna waswahili wanasema husna una ile kumwombea kila laheri kila mtu una furaha yani furaha ya mtu unaichukulia kama furaha yako pia so kwa mtu ambaye hakujui mimi natamani kila mtu akujue kwa ambao hawajia ku follow youtube channel yako yani mimi kupitia mimi naomba umfollow Dabela ni mtu ambaye anakupa advice nzuri sana na process nzuri sana za kufanya ah sina cha kusema jaji yako kupenda Dabela na kupenda sana Guys, we have come to an end of our today's video. Thank you so much for watching this video till now. Be blessed. Let me hope this video has helped you and from this love story, we are going to get lots of other success stories using the tips that have been shared in this love story. Please, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have liked it, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Comment below what you think about this video. I would like to know. And please, if you have not watched my other videos too, go watch them. You are going to learn a lot, a lot, a lot. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Join the family and thank you for subscribing. I love you so much, guys. And you know what? You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.